Hey guys, the Flux here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and the Warhammer 40k mod. Super excited to be back with another battle. This might just be the very craziest battle I've done in a very long time. In fact, I'm gonna open up my window here so my computer can suck in some fresh, cold Swedish Arctic air. Yes, but because it's going to need it, frankly, I believe many of you might have been able to tell uh, this is gonna be a very, very a thrilling fight with plenty of explosions and visual effects stunning visuals and you know it's a matter of different factors you've got the mod you've got the graphics i've got the reshade uh, i've got the uh, um the the correct setting this is a beautiful uh type of skybox i do believe um and i mean like come on like this this trio or quadruple combo is just insane i mean i mean i Oh, I'm just gonna click that start button. So what are we seeing today? You know what we're seeing isn't as important. I guess I mean it, it's everything, I suppose. But the the setting, you know, this is a map I made uh, yesterday. Oh, skipping ahead. The um yes, it's it's just a kind of like a basic wasteland. As you can tell, there's a lot of vegetation. There's it's very sandy as well. It's a, it's got that typical doesn't make any fucking sense Warhammer feel to it. But it's it's beautiful. It's great for this. There's a variety of terrain. There are like huge craters every every here and there. And that is what makes for this this amazing experience. And it's huge. You feel like you're very close to the ground, but in fact, like these are massive units, and they are well, they're quite far down there. So this is Tau. Yes, we've got Tau up against well, basically uh, the uh, uh, legion of uh, uh, space marines and dreadnoughts. Uh, now the the main guest, I suppose, are the dreadnoughts today. But here is about a company of space marines rushing ahead to counter the Tau attack. So this is like a night engagement, like the the two sides just decided to meet out here in the early early morning hours, and it's going to turn into a, just an amazing spectacle. All right, so the first Tau Walkers are engaging the Space Marines with rockets, uh, power weapons of all sorts, and they are just obliterating the Space Marines. Oh, but here we go, they're running into the Dreadnoughts now, and that guy can kiss goodbye to his life, because you are running into a wall of Dreadnoughts right now. Dreadnoughts are going to remain static to brace for impact. The Tau enemies are charging at them right now in full speed, firing while running. Oh. Absolutely stunning. Now, um, they seem to have been dealt with rather easily. I, I can't really tell if any Dreadnoughts have been brought down. Yes. We do have a few. I can't hear myself to begin with, so I'm going to lower my volume to, to avoid screaming into the microphone. Um, one Dreadnought has been brought down there on the uh, the right flank, and the Dreadnoughts will continue to advance right now as they aim to capture the field in today's massive land battle. This is a proper mech, mechanized field battle, one could say. Uh, now here comes the second wave of Tau Walkers. A few more heavier ones have been mixed in this time, and they have some insane rocket systems that go bananas. I'm not even sure what they're exactly aiming for. Some hit, some just, you know, get shot past. Some even come back! Look at that motherfucker! Shit! They're like heat-seeking, uh, they're like randomly seeking, I don't know, they're they're like a confused Tinder profile. They're going for just pretty much anything. Um, but here we go, man. Oh, this is just insane. We're gonna see a lot of those blue implosions. I'm gonna try and keep my camera steady because uh, YouTube is gonna have a hard time compressing this. So we're just gonna keep it like this for a second and enjoy all the action. Oh. You can just hear all the impacts from those heavy bolters and, and chain guns. Damn. wave is insane. We have another wave of heavier walkers coming up behind as well. Lots of rocket systems being used. But the Dreadnought line is still holding. We're seeing more 
casualties, more destroyed dreadnoughts right now. We have a few disabled ones here in the center, and that's not good, but the second line is still holding. Advancing now at the enemy. Oh. Jesus! They're just powering through. They might have lost about half their numbers so far, but they are still aiming to counterattack. They are still going for the field. They are here to conquer the day, or the night, I suppose. Oh. So quite a lot of Tau enemies have kind of snuck in on the flank. Uh, they're up. They're actually up there on the high ground. And I believe the Dreadnoughts are advancing to avoid getting completely flanked. So we're going to see if they can call in support to knock those enemies out there on the high ground. They don't want to get shot in the back. How's the left flank doing? It's actually looking quite fine, so that is reassuring. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's like a napalm strike. If this was Apocalypse Now, that would be the general calling in a, a little prep for, uh, for a good day at the beach with some surf. Oh, man. Oh, there's a few more enemies left alive, but we're just going to have them be there because they are in the past. And you know what you got to do, guys? You just got to move on from the past, you know? Oh, look at those rockets, though. I do believe those are called, like, Skylark or something like that. Sounds like a pretty advanced uh, CPU system of some sort, but anyway. Yeah. Something with Sky. We've got some uh, droid... Uh, not droid. This isn't Star Wars. We've got some tau ho hover tanks hovering around the field with some very serious energy weapons right now as well. And we've got a, a lot of Tau infantry being brought up as well, and this is really cool. The Tau forces are utilizing everything they have to try and hold this uh, assault back, but I'm not sure how well it's working out for them right now. The line of Dreadnoughts oh, is going to come to another halt. Calibrating their weapons and sights. Look at this autocannon. just hear the uh, machinery working for full effect back here. obliterating what's left over. I mean, I'm just, I'm just like zoning out.
I'd say that's target obliterated. Oh, but there's another wave coming. The slaughter is never ending. That's what Warhammer is all about. Death. 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 How much ammo do they have? Enough, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's a good conclusion to uh, today's video. What an insane fight it has been. The Dreadnoughts did capture the field, yeah, to say the least. There's not much left of it, though. There's just bodies all over the place and destroyed mechs and uh, various vehicles of all sorts. I mean, this is just, it's just been a deadly night, to say the least. Now, we did, we did have a few Tau walkers remaining back here. Unfortunately, I crashed as I was uh, insulting the intelligence of said Tau mechs, but luckily the footage was saved. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.